What's up? Today is Monday. It's Crystal here for Young and Lux chat or TV or however you want to put it. It is 5.30 in the evening. I, you know, I am on my way to Bible study and I was trying to think about what I can chat about today for my personal channel. Um, <clears throat> I know I'm supposed to post videos every Monday so I was like what can I talk about? But something that's been going on lately with me um, to reflect on my week last week which was New Year's um, last week was a good week I mean I'm still here and I'm blessed and I'm still alive and I made it to see 2015 happy new year to all you guys and um, New Year's Eve I was home <laughs> I was actually home online looking for curtains for my move this weekend um so that's how my week been we just been shopping around looking for things to buy for our new place um it's a new beginning for us and we're moving i kind of feel like a even though i moved out on my own already like this move is very personal for me and my husband it's very big and it almost feels like when you move out of your house for the first time on your own like when you're a teenager you move out on your own for the first time so I'm feeling good I mean there's some setbacks God is trying to you know God is moving us forward and the devil is trying to come in between some things we got going on but I believe in God and his grace and mercy and I'm thankful to him every day for his faithfulness he loves us and um he is just the best man there is but that's what's been going on last week just new year so happy new year once again um but lately i've really been on traveling like traveling this year has really been on my mind attending some events like networking events social events i told my husband like the last time that we really went out was my lifestyle used to be clubbing <clears throat> like going out to the club and I think even back then it's been about I don't know two or three years since I've been out like that um I don't even do any of that stuff anymore but um traveling has really been on my mind and traveling as in attending social like I said social network events just something I can dress up and be nice and loungy and mingle with adults that are like-minded and in like you know the um kind of going the same way that i'm trying to go i'm trying to you know build my business work on my blog i'm trying to commit to more things i'm just trying to look for like-minded people build relationships with people and then traveling like um my birthday is in march so not just for my birthday but i want to go see some places like in the united states i know there are some beautiful places that i have not seen i mean i've traveled to of course within my state of Florida and um, South Carolina uh, I've been to Virginia Washington DC but not for fun to like actually go around and enjoy these places I've just been just to visit with fam like with family and never to go out and see things so traveling is really on my mind like for my birthday I would like to go to the Grand Canyon see the Grand Canyon and I when I I've been telling people that lately and it's been then I'll say like yeah I know I'm boring I want to go to see the Grand Canyon on my 28th birthday but so what I don't get like I could put that on my list and I'm planning on taking my kids with me I'm not sure if we're gonna drive or what's a long drive but at least during that drive we can see other places that we've never ride through other states we've never ridden through um, it'll be an experience <clears throat> and this will be the first long trip actually I don't even think we've traveled anywhere with my daughter really besides to South Carolina but you know from Florida to the Grand Canyon it's like a day drive so I was telling my husband like I think that's probably what I want to do is just get on you know just get on the road like a road trip with our kids and um just go so that's excuse me so that's my plans like I told my husband like I would like to go see 
he wants to go places too but i want to focus on united states before i just go out of the country like everybody just wants to go out of the country but but what about embracing america first and then get outside of the country that's what i want to do i want to get comfortable with traveling like that first getting on the plane and traveling from state to state first before i get on the plane and travel across the ocean so um just traveling is something on my mind this year. I don't care how tired I get, how cranky we all get. I mean, God has created some beautiful places and things that I would like to go see. Like, I found out that there's like this tulip festival. I love flowers. I think flowers are the most... I love beautiful things, period. Anything that is very, like, just bright and just unique. And I think flowers are absolutely beautiful. I love orchids. They're, that's my favorite 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 flower it's very beautiful and um i just found out that there's a tulip festival that goes on in washington state every year in april so i told my husband like i think i want to go do that like who doesn't want to go see a field full of beautiful tulips i mean come on now is it just me <laughs> so that and I mean everybody says like New York but I want to go see like Niagara Falls I want to go see some mountains I want to go see snow I mean by, probably by the time I start traveling for my birthday in March the snow will be kind of settling so I'll make sure I kind of set that up for winter but I want to go see some mountains I want to go to just all these different places like there's places to see here in America <laughs> yeah then I'll start traveling like, excuse me, I'll start traveling like out of state. Sorry, I'm driving. I'm like on my way to Bible study, so trying to do a million things at one time and trying to drive where my camera don't fall. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's all that's been happening with me. I've just been kind of focusing, setting goals for things that I would like to do this year and actually stick to it. Not, not New Year's resolutions or anything, but just, I wouldn't say resolutions. It's just, you know, things that I want to do. <laughs> goals. Um, and I'm going to stick to them. If it's meant for me to do If God wants me to do it I'm going to have it done So <clears throat> That's it for last week uh, I did my nails I really can't show you really good I got the worst acrylic job Last year I mean look, What am I saying It was like What Was it last year I don't know Maybe it was the day before New Year's Eve Or something It was last year I think <laughs> so I'm saying it like That was so long ago But yeah so I got the worst acrylic job done. So I'll show you my nails now. I'm wearing my Jamberry nail wraps. And these are kind of ugly right now too. So, and these are discontinued wraps. Except I think the skinny one. Oh, and the, well, I think this one. This is Reminisce, this flower print. So um, I'm wearing Jamberry nail wraps. Which I love, and I'm I'm a consultant, but I haven't really been putting any focus into running the business because I had so much going on last year, and I just I don't know. So February is coming up. I have a year to decide whether I want to like. Sorry, I gotta hold the camera up going across the road, but I had like once you get into the business you have a year to kind of make a certain amount of money and I honestly have not been doing anything with it um, I post pictures here and there I have an Instagram page for it but I haven't really been pushing the business for the nail wraps because once again I didn't put myself in places and positions where I can connect with other people that would find these interesting like I mean I know a lot of people like nails and stuff but I also have to get out and socialize the internet is powerful which I haven't been utilizing the internet like I should either for this business but I love nails and once I came across nail wraps it was like what where have I been like seriously so excuse me again 
so yeah I'm wearing nail wraps cuz for the worst acrylic job like I said like it was just horrible like he did it all wrong and I was like man I really wanted my nails done that's all I wanted to do that's kind of how I treat myself with one thing you know I haven't really been shopping buying clothes or anything because I don't feel like I really need to I need shoes but I don't feel like I really need to shop but I like I'm kind of into making myself feel pretty now without clothes so like nails I've been wearing a little makeup here and there but I love so I thank God for these nail wraps that I had at home um Jamberry. I am still an independent consultant. February, I have up until next month to decide whether I want to keep it going or not. And if I do, I have to make a certain amount of money by then. Um so I'm thinking I might not push it as a business anymore. I'm not sure yet. I'll pray about it. <laughs> um cuz I'm trying to dedicate my time to other things and I'm just that's something like I need to decide whether I'll be able to commit the time to it to bring in the income for it um but yeah so to cover up the worst acrylic job ever like i said i mean it was just horrible like i'm supposed to have the rounded tips like it looks all good now but if you could see these close up you would be like oh my god girl like the tips are like oh i don't know this guy that i these the i'm not even gonna just this salon that i went to they started with square tips to make them round. And it just didn't come out right. I'm sure if I go other places, some people will do that and it'll, they'll make it look good. But it just didn't come out right. Yeah. So that happened last week. <clears throat> so I think that's about it. Um, my last, last week. Yeah. So this week. We're pretty excited. We're moving on Friday. Like I said, some things are trying to come in between us in this move. And some move that we're trying to make. But, you know, God got us. And um, today it has been a very blessed day. I was able to record two videos today. So I'm hoping to have those up tomorrow. Um, when I got home today, I had to, like, eat and crash. Because I haven't been getting enough sleep. So... 